hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c to the power of 6 and its square root equals to 5 to the power of 6 and its whole square root uh, so we solve this problem for the values of c i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here the very first step we are going to do is here first we need to write this radical uh, equation into the exponential form so here we write both of these radical terms into the exponential form uh, here you know that if you have square root of a so we write this into the exponential form as a to the power of 1 over 2 so similarly we uh, write these two square roots are in the form of 1 over 2 and it will be written as uh, 6 to the power c to the power of 6 and its whole power 1 over 2 equals to 5 to the power of 6 and its whole power is 1 over 2 and here we apply the exponent law you know that if you have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this exponent law we need to multiply these two exponents here and it will be written as c to the power of 6 multiplied by 1 over 2 equals to 5 to the power of 6 multiplied by 1 over 2. So here you see that this is 2 times of 3 is 6 this is also 2 times of 3 becomes 6 and uh, we obtain here in the left hand side is c cubed is equals to in the right hand side will be written as 5 cubed so now further in the next step we first need to move this 5 cubed in the left hand side so it will be written as c cubed minus 5 cubed is equals to 0 so now you see here this equation will become cubic equation in c variable so that here we can uh, solve this cubic equation with the help of cubic formula uh, so you know that if you have a square uh, sorry a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so according to this formula you see here our a is equals to c and our b is equals to 5 uh, so we need to replace these two values of a and b in the right hand side of this nice formula uh, so here we write our above equation as in this form first you have a minus b the value of a is c minus the value of b is 5 into uh, first you have a square here our a is c square plus a b again our a is c and b is 5 plus b square so b is 5 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need uh, more simplifications here uh, so uh, we rewrite this equation as this is c minus 5 times of c square plus this is uh, this will be written as 5c and plus this 5 square equals to 25 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now further in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c minus 5 equals to 0 and the second case is we write c square plus 5c plus 25 equals to 0 and now here in in this equation we easily get the value of c is equals to 5 and uh, from this quadratic equation uh, here uh, we need to solve this quadratic equation for the values of c because our given equation is cubic equation it means that uh, our given equation has three roots so first we find the real roots and now here we need more two roots which we get from this quadratic equation so now here first we write uh, the coefficients of this uh, quadratic equation and we, uh, we know that the coefficients of this equation are capital A equals to 1, capital B equals to 5 and capital C equals to 25. And now here in the next step we need to uh, state the quadratic formula as C is equals to minus B plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the over uh, quadratic formula and now here we need to substitute the values of a b and c in this formula so after substituting the values it will be written as 
first you have this is minus b the value of b is 5 it will be written as minus 5 plus minus square root of b square so b is 5 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 25 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as minus 5 plus minus square root of this is 5 square and 5 square equals to 25 minus this 4 times of 25 equals to 100 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 and 2 times of 1 equals to 2. And now here in the next step we need more simplifications and now you see here we have c is equals to this is minus 5 plus minus uh, square root of this is 25 uh, and minus 100 is equals to minus 75 and it is divided by 2. So now here uh, in the next step we need to uh, break the 75 in this form so we have 6 is equals to minus 5 plus minus uh, we write this 75 as 25 multiplied by 3 and we can just apply the square root on uh, minus 1 separately and it is divided by 2. So here in the next step you see here we have this is minus 5 plus minus here we know that the square root of 25 equals to 5 into this is square root of 3 and here we know that the square root of minus 1 is equals to iota and it is divided by 2. So we have these are the other two complex roots of the given equation because we need to find the three roots of the given equation. So finally we will write here the three roots of the given equation are the first root is denoted by c1 and it is equals to minus 5 plus 5 times of square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2. The second root is c2 equals to minus 5 minus 5 times of square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 and our third root is that c cubed is equals to 5. So these are the three roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Uh, so at the last I can just tell you uh, one more thing is that uh, I hope so uh, you like this method but if you have any other method uh, for this question so please don't hesitate to write this method. Uh, into the comment section so thank you so much for watching this video and bye bye